A deepening crisis for New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, who's facing allegations of sexual harassment from two former aides. One of them saying he has not gone far enough in his response. And Thompson has more. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo on the defensive tonight, saying he is truly sorry for interactions that may have been insensitive or too personal, after a second former aide says the 63-year-old sexually harassed her. Tonight, that aide, Charlotte Bennett, rejected Cuomo's apology, saying the governor has refused to acknowledge or take responsibility for his predatory behavior. Some Democrats agree. That's not an apology. He seemed to be saying, oh, I was just kidding around. You know, sexual harassment is not funny. How damaged is the governor? This is not the type of behavior anyone expects to see uh, in the leader of a state. So I would say he's, he's in very serious trouble. New York's attorney general will appoint an independent investigator to look into the charges against the Democrat. Over the weekend, the 25-year-old Bennett told the New York Times Cuomo verbally harassed her last spring. He asked me if I believed if age made a difference in relationships and asked if I had ever been with an older man. This followed Lindsay Boylan's online article alleging pervasive harassment by Cuomo, including an unwanted kiss in 2018. Cuomo denied Boylan's allegations. It's just not true. The problem here for people in trouble in public life is that they need lots of friends. And uh, Andrew Cuomo sadly does not have very many. He also faces a federal investigation for how his administration counted COVID nursing home deaths. A dramatic turn of events for Cuomo, once lauded for his leadership in the pandemic. The governor absent from view yesterday on what he might call day 365 of the COVID crisis. But even though Governor Cuomo was nowhere to be seen, his critics were everywhere. From Republican legislators to fellow Democrats, they all had something to say. I believe the right thing is for the governor to step aside. The allegations are very disturbing, and if they are substantiated, uh, it's going to be a very serious problem. Sexual harassment is, in the workplace is a very serious issue, and there has to be absolutely no tolerance for it. No language, no conversation, no question that asks about a woman's private life, personal life, that should ever be conflated as a joke. That's not a joke. And New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio having this to say about the governor's current investigation. That's not an apology. Um, he seemed to be saying, oh, I was just kidding around. You know, sexual harassment is not funny. It's serious. It has to be taken seriously. And, and he just clearly was letting himself off the hook um, for something that for the women involved sounded pretty terrifying. And uh, no, we need a full investigation. In a special edition of Political Talk, our political team tackling what this investigation means for New Yorkers and what could happen next. Soon we will see uh, the announcement of an independent uh, investigator, an independent prosecutor. This is bigger than Andrew Cuomo. This is bigger than Donald Trump. You know, today's March 1st, it's the beginning of Women's History Month. Uh, sexism and sexual harassment is a systemic problem. It's a problem that it did not just happen yesterday. It's a problem that's not going to end tomorrow. But I think uh, recognizing this and recognizing that things have to change is, is that that should be the takeaway from everybody at this point. Nobody should be above this stuff, period. I don't care who you are. And I wish we would spend less time pointing fingers at each other and more time working together to fix these problems. You know, these people are in very powerful positions. Power can be an evil sometimes. And as we strive for power, we often sometimes try to cover things up because we don't want to lose power. And, you know, the American people are not stupid. They can see through this. And I think it's important that we all start. That's why we have to, at some point, come together and start working together and not just pick sides on every issue and try to cover for the other side. It's not good. There should be investigations. Everybody should be treated the same and fairly. The full special edition of Political Talk on the governor's harassment allegations is now online. And you can find that on our website at MyTwinTears.com. 
That's right, AT News first broke this story on our website at MyTwinTears.com, and you can stay up to date on all the latest changing developments, both on air and online.